AJ uh, Kegel is what it is, Kegel. Um, so I think it was pretty uh, petty of the Christians to name their God, God. You know, it kind of seems like they lost an argument like one too many times. They were like, oh, what's your God's name? Oh, it's Allah. Well, well, ours is God because he is. And the Muslims were like, hey, uh, you know, Allah means God in Islam. And the Christians were like, we can't hear you from heaven. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Uh, a lot of athletes are religious. Okay? And that that's cool. It just doesn't really... It's a little weird to me when UFC fighters are. Like, I don't know. Something just doesn't sit right with me when there's, like, a guy laying there with a broken arm and a fractured skull, and there's a guy standing on top of him like, I give all glory to God. He helped me do that. <laughs> it's even weirder when it's, like, between two religious, uh, two religious guys. Because then it's like, you know, who is the better Christian, right? Like, like every hit that lands is, like... You miss Sunday school. <laughs> you miss VBS. Like that sort of thing, you know? Um, I think that... Uh, I think that... I think Elon Musk is a bad guy, okay? I'll say it. Everybody wants to talk good about him, how great he is. I don't, I don't buy into his shit, you know? Like, if you ask... Like, anytime there's an interview of him... It always talks about how uh, he's always like, oh, AI is taking over. You know, artificial intelligence is taking over. And anybody is like, what are you going to do about that, Elon? And he's like, I'm going to help artificial intelligence advance. You're a bad guy. Okay, that's not, that's not a good guy. You know it's getting worse, and you're like, and I'm going to help it get there. And nobody's brought up the fact that it's a problem. Like, I don't, I don't see how nobody in any of the interviews has addressed the fact that he is just like, and I'm helping the problem get there, and that's it. I'm not, like, too worried, though, about, about robots taking over, like, like he says, because, like, I've got a pretty foolproof plan to blending in. My plan is just to, like, lie about which of the following images have stop signs in them. <laughs> uh, when I was, uh, you know, my whole life I've had trouble making eye contact with people and these, uh, these bright lights in my eyes help that so I don't have to. But uh, when I was a kid, <laughs> my dad thought I was autistic because of it. And that was a... <laughs> I was an <laughs> age... Hey, I wasn't, it wasn't a like a passive aggressive stab at you, but it was just they were bright at the time. No, but when I was a kid, my dad thought I was autistic because of it, and that was a really tough conversation to have with him. I was like, Dad, I'm not autistic, you're just ugly. I am pretty worried though about like, um, about getting tested to see if I'm autistic, because if I'm not autistic, well, then I'm just like a weirdo who can't make eye contact and loves patterns. That's a nightmare, guys. Um, I, don't like, I don't like how we assume things when we name animals. I know like six praying mantises that are atheists and they hate that shit. Hell yeah. I also don't like how we make fun of certain animals when we name them. It's like, that whale's got a hump back. And why does that dolphin's nose look like a bottle? And that sloth's got three toes. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> um, I, I got a girlfriend. I started dating somebody recently, and that's, uh, yes, yes, more. Yeah. That's about the applause she deserves, honestly. Like, if I'm being honest, she won't hear this. It's fine. She's not that great. Um, but no. 
that's how they get you guys to laugh is just a shit on the girl but she's a uh, fine anyway back to what i was saying so we were hanging out okay we were hanging out and we were making out all right i'll be honest and then uh things were going good until they weren't she stopped me and she said hey look it's nothing against you it's just like it's a little gross to me uh, when, when like, I make out and there's like tongue involved. I don't like tongues in my mouth. And I like paused for a second and I was like, but my dick was just in your mouth. <laughs> like I brush my teeth twice a day, I wash my dick once a day. That's simple math. I mean, I don't see what's gross here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Yeah, she's uh, she's cool. The other day, though, I introduced her to a friend of mine, okay? And this friend of mine, he's an inch shorter than me. And I don't know if you guys can tell from the audience, but, like, I'm five foot seven, okay? So I'm not a tall guy. And uh, we walked in, and he made a shitty joke because he's not a comedian about being short. And uh, he was like, wow, oh, it's so hard being short. And, uh, and she laughed because she's nice and said, yeah, but at least you're taller than AJ. And then he and I looked at each other and uh, I was like, no, I'm, a, I'm actually taller than he is. And she shrugged and was like, oh, well, <laughs> I guess he just carries taller energy than you. I was like, bitch, I am five foot fucking seven, and you give, I'm not taller than anybody, and you give him this one because of his energy? Like, okay, if we're going off energy, then I guess you give off the energy of a 23 year old without a car or a license. So, how does that feel since we're going off energy, since we're bringing energy up, you know? <laughs> Oh, uh, and then, um, <laughs> I, um, I don't like when I, okay, so I don't like being called sir. It's, uh, it's uncomfortable for me because, like, it just doesn't feel right. I feel young. I'm, I'm 25 years old, and I just, I don't like when people call me sir. Like, the other day, I had this guy, I locked my keys in my truck, and he, uh, he showed up and he kept calling me sir the whole time and I, he was clearly younger than me and it just felt uncomfortable like like because he was younger than me but also because he was he was a black guy and i was just like no you don't have to like a younger than me black guy calling me sir i was like this feels very 18 you know 50s ish and i don't like it That's my race material. <laughs> I just got a new hobby. I just, <laughs> just got a new hobby. It's a, it's a little side hustle. You know, I've been working on making a little extra money, and it's working, everybody. I just got into dog fighting, okay? Pretty lucrative business. Uh, I got the perfect mixed breed last week. He's half Roomba, half Dyson. And we fucking clean house, everybody. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Um, 2020 has been pretty shitty for a lot of people. It's been pretty good for me. I got, uh, I got uh, prescribed Adderall during 2020. It's been really great. Because Adderall, you know, it helps me, it helps me uh, focus while I'm at work, but it also gives me something to sell when money gets tight. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, taking orders after the show. <laughs> uh, Jason, we good? Yeah? Okay, cool. Everybody give it up for AJ! Woo! AJ Cagle, everybody! Give it up for him! Yeah!